guys and welcome back to my youtube channel oh my god it feels so so weird being back on youtube um i actually had someone comment the other day on my youtube video saying are you alive still after my recent post was obviously about covid um yeah sorry guys it's been so long as always i apologize life has been hectic and i've literally been catching up on everything um, life just been moving so quick, like so much is going on. If you know, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so we are here in the new flat. I have literally just moved into a gorgeous new flat, which I will show you shortly. But um, yeah, everything's just been mad, mad, go, go, go. I asked you guys on Instagram what you um, kind of wanted to um, catch up on in regards to me being off uh, social, well, not social media, but YouTube for a long time. So, I had a couple questions, but um, we'll get into that further down the video. But I thought I'd just say, I'm back, and I'm here to stay. I've got so many exciting things happening now, guys, and I really wanna bring you along with me um, and just into my life now and show, really, really show you what I get up to in regards to training, in regards to just general life. And yeah, there's just so much going on. So, this is like a little mini vlog, and um, it's kind of like a day in the life. Um, Got so so many things to show you, so let's get let's get started. Okay, guys, I'm gonna quickly show you around the kitchen. So as you can see, it's very tidy at the moment. It doesn't always stay like this, but it's very tidy at the moment. So this is um, the utensils we got. I love this knife set. This is from my sister and her um, fiance. It's so nice, and it really goes with the theme of the kitchen. Like, how gorgeous is that? Like, literally, yeah, it's just so nice. So yeah, this is the kitchen at the moment ovens down there then we've got the fridge which as you can see we look a bit kind of like coke addicts we're not it's just that we kind of are at the same time <laughs> but yeah this is the fridge um it's quite big actually it's very spacious and the freezer's underneath um but yeah guys this is the the kitchen let's see how long it stays it's clean <laughs> if you know me well enough you know how much i love coffee like i'm actually like I have I have to have a coffee every day. It's bad, but not like every every day, but pretty much at least one a day. I like to have. So, gonna use my little Costa coffee mug. I like to have iced coffee at the moment just because it's a bit lighter outside. Um, so I like to have iced coffee. But yeah, usually I have like a hot coffee if it's like not as like warm, like warm outside. I'd have a hot coffee. Um, there's actually a really, really cute like little cafe, like stand outside um, up near the flats. And the coffee there is just amazing. Like they do like hot coffee, it's so good. I don't know if they do ice coffee, I've never tried it, but the hot coffee I know is just like unreal. Um, but we're gonna stick with the instant coffee for now here, guys. I'm not gonna get too fancy out there. So I've got um, some coffee, actually, you know, I'm looking in there because the coffee's actually here. So, coffee jar it's my favorite jar and then i'll show you guys um the cutlery so the cutlery drawer is literally in here there's the plates and then the cutlery drawer is literally in here so we gonna use um a spoon we've got different cutlery so i'm going to use a big spoon so with my iced coffee i like to use um probably like a table like a tablespoon like this of coffee and then usually like half of it like sugar you don't have to add sugar but if you don't add sugar then it is quite bland i won't lie so i do like to add a bit of sugar off but i tend to get a bowl and then we're going to put it in there bowls at the ready i'm going to do a tablespoon of coffee into the bowl and then we're going to get some sugar and we're going to do half half a tablespoon of sugar so i'd say not even like you don't even have to put that much but like that into the bowl then all you need to do is add in some hot water. So, I'm gonna do two tablespoons of hot water. Just try and be careful and, and measure it like as much as you can, like that. Now for this bit, get a bowl that you don't mind scratching because you're gonna need a knife, and no, not a knife. You're gonna need a fork, and you're gonna basically just whisk it round, okay? We're gonna whisk it round so it's a bit frothy. Then we're gonna add that into the, the bottle. And mix it around like this. 
in the bowl, then mix it round with a fork, and then it should start to like froth up a bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it starts to froth up a bit. Um, once it's fully frothy, then we're gonna add it in. And now you need some ice cubes. So I tend to put about four, four ice cubes into the bottom of the glass. So four ice cubes is usually enough into the bottom of the glass. Then we're gonna get some milk. I just use um, the semi skim milk, but you can kind of use whatever milk you like um, in your ice coffee. Pour it in the milk. It's quite a lot of milk, I didn't have to put that much in, but yeah, you, you get the drift. <laughs> and then once you've frothed it up, guys, pour it into there, and then that's your ice coffee. Okay guys, so the iced coffee should look kind of like this. I did put too, probably, probably a bit too much milk in. You should put a bit less, it's a bit stronger, but you can kind of like go off how you like the coffee. But yeah, that's how I make my iced coffee. For anyone asking that, I always put it on my Instagram story if some of you guys ask, so that's just how I make it. Um, but yeah, let's, let's have a little catch up. But like, I feel as if, I haven't been on YouTube, like obviously a while, I've been a bit slow on my Instagram. There's just been so much going on. So obviously, you know, like I have a boyfriend now. <laughs> yeah, you've already seen it probably. It's all over TikTok, we have our own Instagram together, we have our own YouTube. Um, so yeah, like obviously I'm very happy um, and I'm in my own flat now with him. So yeah, it's going really well. But in terms of life in general, life is just so busy at the moment. Like I've just got so much going on. Um, people always ask me like one question and that question is usually like, how do I stay motivated? Now, one thing I'll say is that motivation for me is like, I, I literally every single day, I usually wake up and I'm just like, I, I'm motivated for the day because one, I feel so blessed to even like live the life I have. Even though it's not like extravagant, it's, it's just like, I feel, I feel very grateful. Um, but two, I just, I'm very like determined and I want better for myself and I will always want, to, I want more. So like, I feel like in terms of me staying motivated in the gym, it's, it's pretty much like, it's hard, I won't lie. Like, I, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, life's been amazing, like it's been smooth sailing like since I last came on YouTube, because it's not. Um, and life doesn't work like that and that's completely fine. I want you guys to kind of realize is that like what you see online, like you, it's, not, it's not always what it seems. Um, sorry guys, my, my, my hay fever right now is a joke. I literally cannot breathe. That's why I sound so congested. Just, just hit me up. Okay. Yeah, we're back in. Um, so yeah, basically um, my answer to that would be write down your daily goals, what you want to achieve in the week. So what I tend to do is I sit down and write down like a, a schedule for the week, things I want to achieve or things I like want to get done in the week. So then I kind of like to do this, like I tick them off and make sure I do them. Um, but also I think, I think what helps is like listen to like motivational um, Speakers, like I love that. I love listening to motivational speakers. Try not to listen to stuff that's gonna bring your, your vibrations down and bring your mood down. Like you'll be surprised that a lot of things that you listen to and a lot of things that you um, expose yourself to actually does affect you as a person and your mood. So just make sure that you're aware of that. Um but yeah, like that was that would be like my one main thing. And then in terms of like me going to the gym and making sure I'm going there, I try and set myself each day like a, a time frame in which I want to train in. So it could be like, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning today or I'm gonna go to the evening. Like, I try and like lay it out so I know that I'm gonna go at that time and I prepare myself for it, um, usually a few days before. Otherwise, what I'll find is that sometimes, yeah, it's, it's quite easy to sit and say, no, I don't wanna go, or, or one evening you get home and up and work and actually you can't be to go. I completely get that, but if you really, really want those goals, you need to push yourself more and have more discipline. So just try and write things down, pre-plan, pre-plan your workouts. So then when you go to the gym, you're not wandering around thinking what to do. Like today, for instance, things do happen where you're not as good of it when you're there and that's completely normal and that's fine. But try and just prepare yourself so you're, you're ready for that workout and you're in and out. Do you know what I mean? So I'm spending too much time there. Guys, there's these like two flies flying outside the balcony and then and they're literally wanting to come into the flat so bad. Like they're like this right around the window. So you're not coming in. You're not coming in. 
<laughs> Guys, I don't know if it's just me, but like having flies in the house really gives me OCD. I hate it. So I try and keep the balcony door shut as much as possible. Um, or, or like, you know, because they love to come inside, at, like in summertime, don't they? Flies love to come inside, like any anyone. But, you know, you're staying out there, I'm afraid. <laughs> Another person asked me like what I've been up to um, and like kind of like my workout routine split now. So in terms of me training now, my workout split is, is pretty much like, I won't lie, um, it's not the best at the moment. I've been very, very busy with the whole move and everything like that. So I, my terms of training has been put to the side. But you girls not giving up yet just yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. You guys know, and you've followed me all this time, if you have, you know how much I love fitness and how much it's a passion of mine and it always will be. And if you know my journey and you've been there since the start and you've seen my journey in my fitness and just like fitness journey, then you know how much work I put in to get to where I am now. So yeah, I'm not giving up. My knees are a lot better. Um, so in terms of the injury side of it, it's, it's definitely strengthened a lot. So yeah, your girls on the mend. Don't worry, I'm back at it soon. Like, I'm, I'm back at it now actually. I'm going to the gym <laughs> like every day. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. Not every single day. I try to actually have. But yeah, um, so yeah, my, in terms of my workout split, it's usually I try and aim for three leg sessions a week. So I try and do, um, usually I'll focus on like um, my glutes, like on one of those days or some of the, twice those days, like usually twice, glutes and hamstrings. And then my quads and my calves are usually on one of those days. So I kind of split it throughout the week and then I train upper body and abs as well. So yeah, um, in terms of uh, the gym, everything's everything's great, everything's fab. I'm, I'm feeling fit, I'm getting stronger from the injury, so that is always a bonus. And yeah, life is just good, guys. Life is just good. But I want to know how you guys are. I want to know what you've been up to. I want to know where you're watching from. Comment below in the comment section. Um, and if you have any questions, I'm going to do another Q and A. Like in terms of this being a Q and A, it's not. That's not really what it is. It's more a catch up. Um, I asked you, you guys, to ask me a few questions on Instagram to see kind of um, see if you kind of wanted to find out anything in terms of what's happened. What's happened recently and why we're so quiet. But we're gonna be real with you all. Like we're back now. We're back and we're ready to go. Okay. We're getting started. We're literally just getting started. So. Yeah, more YouTube videos come very, very soon. One thing I wanted to show you guys is the wardrobes because I love the wardrobes in this flat, okay? They light up and they literally, look, I mean, look, look, wait for it, wait for it, yeah. Look at that. Like, it's literally lighting up, like, oh, I love it. Like, I absolutely love the lights in the wardrobe. It's so, so nice. And this one is like in like little box sections, so you can see all of my gym stuff is in here all my gym leggings so my sports bras and then like yeah this room is another favorite of mine guys the bathroom is just oh the bathroom is just to die for it's so dreamy in here like i have so many compliments from you guys saying this bathroom is just a dream and like i could not agree more this bathroom is just like it's literally what sold me the flat like i just love it it's so smart so just oh, the finish is so beautiful and it's just so bright this is the bathroom guys um this is my section where the mirror is it opens up this is reggie section this is my section that is the bathroom i hope you guys like the bathroom as much as i do comment below guys is the bathroom just what's your favorite part of the flat so far comment below mine is probably the bathroom but you know Yours might be in the kitchen, who knows? These four boxes are stuff that I'm gonna be giving away or selling for my Depop. So if you don't already follow me on Depop, make sure you keep an eye out on my Instagram. I'll be posting about these items that'll be going live on my Depop account. Do not miss out guys, because you might want some, some any, any bits I'm gonna sell, you might want them. All I'm saying is there's some nice gym sets in there. Really nice. Some of them I haven't even worn. Keep your eyes peeled because they'll be going live on my Instagram on the default side of things so you don't miss out. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the whole of the video. Make sure you comment, like and subscribe and make sure you're here for the next video. Bye.